Yesterday we seen Bitcoin fly to 64k and leave many people in disbelief and also wondering how high can Bitcoin really go in this cycle. Now on this channel we've done price predictions for a number of hot altcoins and to be honest Bitcoin has always been overlooked. So I thought why not do a price prediction video on the top dog itself, Bitcoin. Now in this video what I'll do is I'll explain my exact reasons why but watch until the end because that is where the price predictions will be. If you do enjoy the video please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel but let's get straight into it. So the structure of today's video will be slightly different to the usual videos and the reason for this is because we don't need to do an overview of what Bitcoin is all about. We don't need to do a competitive landscape because Bitcoin's in a league of its own. So the structure is going to be different and the first thing we're going to cover is the total market cap for the crypto industry. So you might be wondering why we're starting with the total market cap because this isn't specific to Bitcoin, but it all will all make sense as we go through the video, trust me. So where we're going to start with the total market cap is looking at where we have peaked in previous bull cycles. So we're going to go all the way back to the peak in 2017, December 2017, and we can see this small, well, it wasn't small at the time, but it looks very small now, the peak of the cycle at around a 750 billion market cap. Now from that point we obviously seen a bear market and by the time we peaked in 2021 the total crypto industry had was at around 3 trillion dollars. So as a rough guide we did a 4x from the previous peak. So when we look at where we may peak next time around if you want to go with that 4x again because you're extremely bullish we're looking at a 12 trillion dollar industry now personally i think that is a little bit ambitious and the reason for this is because we are in a maturing market and you know when we're getting into the trillions rather than the billions this is a hell of a lot of money and we need a hell of a lot of money to move the market now some people will say ah but the bitcoin etf is here now and that's great but i don't think that's going to have such an impact overnight so when we're looking at a maturing market, I'm actually looking at rather than a 4x for this to split in half and for us to 2x to around 6 trillion. Now some people may see this as conservative and for the point of today's video, we're going to go with the usual, the pessimistic, the realistic and the optimistic price targets. And although these are not price targets themselves, they're going to have a big impact. So we're probably going to go with around a $4 trillion market cap being pessimistic, $6 trillion being realistic or conservative, and then $8 trillion is going to be optimistic. So just keep that in mind as we go through the video, but the next piece of the puzzle is going to be looking at the Bitcoin dominance and how much of this total market cap belongs to Bitcoin. But before we move on to the Bitcoin dominance, I just want to announce that I have officially partnered with the exchange Blowfin. Now the reason for this is because I will be trading myself there, there is no KYC, there's over 300 per pairings and it is a very simple and easy to use interface. There are many more reasons, I did a full thread on this on Twitter, link will be in the description so you can do your own research and check them out. But if you do sign up using my link there will be sign up bonuses of up to $1,600 and I'm also running my own $250 giveaway. So go and check that out if you want to get involved, but just a heads up, there will be plenty more offers and bonuses coming exclusively to the YouTube channel. So now we'll move on to Bitcoin dominance. And the reason for this is because when we're looking at the total market cap, this is essentially the market cap of all cryptos combined. Bitcoin dominance is simply how much of that market cap is dominated by Bitcoin. So this is going to have a huge impact when we're doing these calculations at the end of the video. So we'll look at history again here and when we've seen a peak in 2017, market cap at around 750 billion as discussed, we've seen Bitcoin dominance at around 70%, which is pretty high. Shortly following that, in January, we've seen a rapid decline uh, down to around 35-36% in January of 2018. And the reason for this was because there was a huge alt season at the end of the cycle. I would know, I remember it very clearly because I lost a lot of money for the first time in that alt season. Now, fast forward to 2021, it was a little bit of a different picture because when the market topped out at 3 trillion, everything was thriving, Bitcoin, altcoins, but dominance was down to around 45%. And you might be wondering why there is such a huge difference. 
And if we check out this chart here, we can see that it is due mostly due to the amount of altcoins that are actually out there in the world that have been created. Because every single altcoin, no matter how big or small, is going to take a little bit of market share away from that Bitcoin dominance. So if we look at 2017, we can see that the amount of altcoins was around, I'd probably say around 1,500 altcoins, somewhere in between these two numbers of 2017 and March 2018. But fast forward again to 2021, more specifically November, and we have 7,500 altcoins out there. So there was a rapid decline during that bear market before finally peaking in Feb 2022 at over 10,000 altcoins. Now, what's interesting is right now is that we've actually started to flatline, if not slightly decline with the amount of altcoins out there. And this is mostly due to this chart being around altcoins that have not rugged, that are still active, that have just not faded into nothing. And this makes a huge impact on how we're going to judge the Bitcoin dominance moving forward, because if we're starting to flatline, this could suggest that when we look at the future Bitcoin dominance in this next cycle at the peak, it could be very similar to what we've seen in 2021 due to a similar amount of altcoins out there. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing the Bitcoin dominance, running the numbers at around the 45 to 55% area. So it is kind of based on 2021, maybe a little bit higher because of the Bitcoin ETF if people are feeling specifically bullish on Bitcoin over altcoins. But generally speaking, I think that's a good kind of area to work with. And that is exactly the reasons why. So we know what the total market cap could be. We have the Bitcoin dominance kind of figured out. But the other thing that we always talk about in these videos is circulating supply. Now, Bitcoin is different to the usual new projects because the flow is very different. We've seen in the past that say a coin brings out 10 billion, they start off with 10% of them coins in circulation. They have team unlocks, investor unlocks and so on. But Bitcoin has none of this. So we can see on CoinGecko here that the circulating supply is actually at around 19.6 million out of the total of 21 million. So you could say that the majority is already in circulation. Now, due to block rewards, the halving, we can see on this chart here that the amount of Bitcoin in circulation is starting to flatline quite rapidly. Of course, it is still increasing because if we look at the peak of the last cycle at around 18.8 .8 million Bitcoin. We're now up to 19.6 as we just discussed. So it is slightly increasing, but I would say over the next potential 12 to 18 months, it isn't really going to increase by that much more. So for easy maths, rather than using 19.6 million today, we're gonna to round it up to 20 million. I don't think it'll go above that, but we can use it as a worst case scenario and something to keep the maths nice and simple. So now we get to the fun part, the price predictions. And I think I'm gonna feel like Alan on the hangover now when there's just numbers flying everywhere in the casino. So I'll do my best to try and keep this simple. Please bear with me. Hopefully it makes sense. So we're gonna go back to the total market cap, four trillion as a pessimistic price target. Now, if we're working on a 45% Bitcoin dominance on this, this is gonna leave us with around 1.8 trillion market cap for Bitcoin. Now, if we divide this across the 20 million Bitcoin in circulation, approximately at that time, this is gonna leave us with a price target of around $90,000. So compared to the previous high at 70,000, not too impressive for a lot of people. Then when you move on to the 6 trillion market cap, which is something that I think is more likely, I believe that this 45% dominance would leave Bitcoin at around a $2.7 trillion market cap. Now divided by the 20 million coins again, this is going to leave us at around $135,000, almost 2x the previous all-time high. If you want to be a bit more optimistic, the 8 trillion market cap, you're going to find a 45% dominance that this leaves us with Bitcoin at around 3.6 trillion. Again, divided by 20 million, you're looking closer to 180,000. So I think as a rough guide, based on that circulating supply, based on a 45% uh, Bitcoin dominance, these are the rough numbers that you're going to get. But if you're feeling more optimistic, if you think that the total market caps are in line, but maybe Bitcoin dominance will rise closer to 55%, kind of where it is now, 
because of the ETF and everything else, then these numbers will look slightly different for you. So at a $4 trillion market cap, you're gonna be closer to around the 110K area. If we move up to the six trillion market cap, you're going to be closer to $165,000 per Bitcoin. And then the $8 trillion market cap would take you above 200K and closer to $220,000. So if you genuinely believe that the Bitcoin dominance stays above 50%, closer to 55%, these are the kinds of numbers you can expect. Then the best case scenario, for those who are super, super bullish on maybe a super cycle, running it four times again from the previous market cap to around 12 trillion, this is what the numbers would look like for you in a best case scenario, in my opinion, at around 55% dominance. So $12 trillion market cap, 55% dominance. We've got a market cap for Bitcoin at around 6.6 .6 trillion. Now this is gonna leave price by the time it's divided by the 20 million tokens at around 330K per Bitcoin. Now, I don't think that this happens this cycle. I do think it comes in the future, maybe next cycle, maybe in 2028, 2029, whenever that may be. But I don't think that happens this time around. Just looking at gold as a leader at around 14 trillion, looking at companies below that at 3 trillion, I do think we fall somewhere in between, but not quite on the heels of gold until a later date. Now for me, if I had to give my final prediction on what I expect personally, I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna keep with the $6 trillion market cap for the total of crypto, but I'm gonna go at around a 50% dominance. Now what this is gonna do by the time we've divided 3 trillion by 20 million tokens, it's gonna to leave us at around 150K per Bitcoin. So slightly over 2X from the previous all time high and a pretty decent price overall. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully I didn't butcher them explanations. Hopefully it all makes sense. If you do have any questions or unsure of anything, please do drop a comment and let me know. I'm more than happy to try and answer as many as I can. Also do comment and let me know how high you think Bitcoin can go in your opinion this cycle. Apart from that, if you did enjoy it, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, plenty more content like this on the way. In the meantime, trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.